The FNAF movie is a complete failure. The plot is too generic, there aren't enough easter eggs, and finally there isn't enough for us FNAF fans that we can remember from our young childhoods to truly see in the movie. I'm going to be telling you why I think this was a complete flop and what they could have done better. Please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe and smash the bell and without further ado let's get straight into it. So firstly, the plot is too generic. What do I mean by that? I mean that we don't get to see the FNAF lore that we've always loved. We don't see the storyline of William Afton, we don't see the storyline of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, we do not even see the storyline of the animatronic. Who do we see the storyline of? We see the storyline of Mike Smith, who died in the first game. While he is pretty relevant to the story, we should not get an entire movie about him, because instead of going through the actual storyline of the game as a whole, what do we get instead? We get to see why he's losing custody of his sister, we get to see why his relationships aren't doing so well, we get to see why his sister is struggling with a few social issues, we get to see how his brother was kidnapped, and so many other things that have not been relevant to the storyline. Instead, what were we expecting as fans? We were expecting fan theories to be confirmed about the storyline, such as who the Bite of 87 was committed by. This really disappointed me while watching the movie, because I was expecting so much more than what they delivered, and I would say that the Rotten Tomatoes for this movie, which was 26% as of writing this video, says it all. Even the IMDB score dropped from a 6.9 to a 5.8 within a matter of 24 hours. The movie also was not scary enough. I mean, we were expecting a full-on FNAF horror theme, right? Just like the games where you get jumped scared in the face by Chica, Bonnie to your left, even Golden Freddy maybe. No. You know what they did instead? Chica, Bonnie and Freddy ended up building a fort with Mike Smith's daughter, completely off the hook. I don't even know where they went with this one, but they did not do it well. It got to the point where it was so ridiculous, Mike Smith's daughter ended up bringing Freddy in a taxi. At least we got to see a cool little cameo there, and that was the only thing I really enjoyed from that scene. Freddy never goes in the taxi. That is not part of FNAF storyline. That is not part of the law. I feel like there was a bit of influencing from other factors, other producers, and it meant that Scott Coulton couldn't have his full say. This is just a theory, but I don't think Scott Coulton would have made a movie this bad and this off-centered while he was the sole producer of all six FNAF games, as well as Ultimate Custom Night. Something I really loved about the movie was the design of the animatronic. It was frankly excellent. It was not poor quality at all, the sets were well designed, and the animatronics made with care. You could clearly see that while watching the movie, which is actually a plus point. If they could have put these well designed animatronics and sets into good use and into a good storyline like we all hoped for, then this would have been easily a 90% plus on Rotten Tomatoes. So I would say 70% being let down is all because of the poor planning and the poor storyline. The directing of the movie was good. Emma Tammy did a brilliant job at making sure everything was in place. It was just the story writing that was poor. I understand Mike Smith is one of many guards in the FNAF storyline. We don't need a full movie giving us the storyline about him. At the end, we did get to see the Springlock failure and oh my god, it was one of the most horrible representations I have seen of the failure itself. I have seen many representations online, including animations, including audio tape, and they did not manage to do it well at all. In the VHS tapes and throughout the games, we hear the Springlock failure being described as eyes popping out and William Afton lying on the floor for 30 minutes screaming in pain. In the movie, he just gets stabbed in the chest and in the belly, some problems just go into him, and nothing actually happens. He screams for 5 seconds and dies. What? A bomb. There also weren't enough easter eggs like I said before. When I watched the Super Mario Bros movie, it was excellent because it was riddled with easter eggs, whether it was the music, whether it was some other elements of the movie throughout the visual sets, it was all very well designed. Us Mario fans from heart, I've been playing Mario since the young age of 4 and I got to see a lot of stuff which I recognised throughout the movie. I did not feel the same about FNAF. There's only two things which I could really relate to. I guess at the end he said I always come back. That was at least something good. At the very end of the movie, there was FNAF music produced by the Living Tombstone. However, those were the only main two points. Matt Pat did play a cameo in the movie, which was great to see, and he did say his iconic phrase. However, I still don't think that's enough to justify the lack of Easter eggs in the movie for us FNAF fans at heart. This links back to the generic point, which I said before. I think they were predicting a movie where many people who are non FNAF fans would come and see it. However, you've got to realize the majority of people coming to watch this movie are FNAF fans at heart. Watching a countless amount of hours of videos on YouTube explaining the storyline to us, reading reddits on how the storyline progresses and how everything links together, we are true fans at heart and they should have really considered us. I think they considered the general public more than they considered the actual fans. One part that really shocked me is that when the animatronics were going to attack any human in the entire movie, they hummed this 
weird tune but not the iconic tunes that we're used to. At least it could have been Freddy's music box, or it could have been Marionette's music box, it could have been anything that we recognised. But no, it was just a simple hum, and I found that really disappointing. That basically links to there not being enough for the fans. I've explained every reason why I think there weren't enough elements of the movie for the fans, and I think that they could improve it in the next movie. Yes, there is going to be a next movie. Scott Gordon has signed a three-film contract with the producers, Meaning that we will get to see three films at least, uh, an FNAF 2 film and an FNAF 3 film. I think if there was one target I could give to the FNAF 2 film, don't focus on the security guard. He's relevant, but not that much. Focus on the animatronics, William Afton, how he links to it. Focus on Henry Emily, focus on um, famous events, focus on the Bite of 83. We all were hoping for the Bite of 83 in the movie, but no, we got to see none of that. And that really, really disappoints me. So if there's one thing Emma Tammy and the writers could take away from this video, if they're not going to watch it, but if they do, if there is one topic I could give them, focus on FNAF. Focus on the storyline that's on. I know this has been one of my more critical videos, and it's just because I was disappointed. Me and my friends went to watch it together. We all went into the cinema hoping for something amazing, hoping for a masterpiece. As soon as we came out, nothing but disappointment was on our faces. I don't want that to happen with FNAF 2, which I will surely watch. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been quite a video, huh? So yeah, this is why I think that the FNAF movie was a total failure. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I really want to hear some of your opinions since I have a much larger subscriber base now, and so I have a lot of people who could tell me what they. Please do like and subscribe if you can. It really helps to support the channel, and I'm really hoping to grow my channel by 2024. So, once again, if you can, just the red button, just click it, please, it would really help. But uh, apart from that, I will see you in the next one.